Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss how to design slab in eTabs. This is very simplest uh, method to design a slab in eTab. Uh, let's start our today's task. And uh, before starting our today's task, I will request you people to subscribe uh, my channel and uh, let's start it. To design a slab, uh, we need to draw design strips for uh, uh, slab design. So uh, for this, we need to go to uh, to the draw options and uh, we will select a command uh, draw design strips. And there are, you people know that there are two types of design strips. That is first one is a column strip and second one will be the middle strip. Uh, and as far as our column strip is concerned, uh, the uh, the column strip will be uh, half of the uh, will equal to half of the span. Uh, that is uh, uh, basically it is L, L by four uh, span length divided by four, and but it will extend in the both directions. Uh, that is uh, uh, along uh, uh, this direction and along uh, left and right side both sides let's nomenclature the design strips and uh, to nomenclature uh, for the nomenclature uh, let's assume that all the design strips that will be drawn along the x-direction will be uh, named as layer a and all the design strips that will be drawn along the y-direction will be lay named as a layer b and uh, let's start it uh, the total Length of our uh, clay span is 24 feet and uh, we will uh, divide it by 4 that will be uh, L by 4 that is equal to 6 feet and that is equal to 72 inches to draw design strips uh, for column strip we need to put the 72 inches for each side along the uh, left side and along the right side as well uh, along uh, left side mean it uh, the design strip will be drawn 72 inches uh, along left and 72 inches along the uh, right direction. Let's start it over here and uh, now we need to draw our design strips uh, uh, for these columns and uh, when you, you people will start uh, these strips will not shown over here like this i have to show these design, design strips for you people you need to go to the set display options and uh, here you need to go to the other assignments and you need to check it, the uh, show width option the, uh, when you will uh, check this option and uh, you need to apply it uh, then you will the design strips will be visible uh, to you people and uh, these strips are drawn along the uh, x direction. Let's draw, uh, draw it along the y direction as well. Let's le select the uh, strip layer B for the y direction. That will be like this. And uh, just click on both columns, both opposite columns, and uh, right click to cancel the activity command. And these design strips are drawn, uh, column strips are drawn uh, for both long uh, layer A and layer B. That is, layer A is for X direction and layer B is for uh, Y direction. Now we need to draw our design strips for these uh, uh, columns and uh, uh, for side columns, for, uh, for edge columns. For this, we need to uh, put the value 0 over here for right direction and The strips have been drawn and uh, for layer A, for layer B we need to change, uh, for along the y direction we need to change the layer B and we will click on these columns and the next layer has been drawn and uh, similar will be Now we need to put the sand 2 inches for right side to draw design strips for these co uh, side columns and uh, this is the column strip and now we need to click on these columns to draw design strips over here
you know we have drawn all our column strips along the x direction and along the y direction along the x direction the strips are shown in the red color and along the y direction these strips are shown uh, sorry uh, we have drawn We need to draw this design strip from this direction. For this, we uh, need to select uh, this design strip and uh, we will um, delete this design strips. Let's try to select it. And uh, for this, you cannot select the design strips. The easiest way is to turn off all the beams for this and apply it to all windows. Now select this design strips and click delete over here. And in this way, uh, I have deleted the uh, design strips that were wrongly plotted over here. And uh, let's show the beams again and click OK over here. And we need, we need to apply it to all the windows. And Again, beams are shown over here, and now we need to again go to a draw option and draw design strips. And uh, for this, we need to select a layer B, and uh, that will be a column strip, and uh, that will be along the right direction, it will be 72 inches. So we can easily draw plot our design strips for this column. And you can see that all the design strips have been drawn along the x direction and along the y direction as well. And uh, now we need to draw a middle strip that will be started over here. And uh, we are unable to locate the uh, center point of this uh, uh, panel for to uh, turn the option. Uh, we need to go to a draw option, and uh, here will be the snap options that is over here. And uh, we need to check this option and uh, line and zenith points as well. And uh, let's apply it over here. Click OK. okay. Now you can see that the midpoints are shown over here. And uh, but uh, before this, we need to select the middle strip over here. And we need to put the center 2 inches 6 feet for middle strip. That is, we'll start over here and and the other opposite corner and the strip has been drawn and similar will be done for other middle strip you people must remember that uh, uh, the way we are uh, we are going to draw design strips the each layer will be named as from one to onward. For example, uh, at the start we have drawn this column strip, and uh, it has will be named it as uh, strip one. And after that we have drawn the this strip, and the it will be named it as a strip number two, and so onward. We have drawn all the middle strips for uh, there will be along the y direction, and now we need to select a uh, change the layer so that we will be able to draw a uh, middle strips along the x direction as well. And when I move the cursor along uh, this panel, uh, automatically the uh, middle point have been shown over here. So you need to locate the middle point of uh, this tab by moving your cursor. Uh, this is the toughest task uh, to uh, design a slab. For e tabs, we have uh, completed our uh, this task that we have drawn all the strips for our whole slab. And uh, you now we need to cancel the command. So press escape, cancel the command. And uh, here we need to check the uh, our uh, model is ready to check.
for errors. Let's check it. This model has already been analyzed, uh, uh, so there will be hopefully there will be no warning messages. And uh, model has been checked, no warning messages were generated. Now we need to analyze. Our structure. This is not necessary, but we are we are doing this. To check any types out of warning messages. Our structure has analyzed, and uh, now we need to design uh, our slab as well. For this, we need to go to the complete slab design and uh, we can uh, view or revise preferences. We can uh, revise the preferences. These preferences are selected as per ACA 3.1.19, so we don't need to revise it and click OK over here. And if we need to modify it, we can modify it uh, for our specific type of uh, slab or for, uh, for any type of task. Today, my system is a bit slow. I don't know why. And uh, we need to select the design combinations. All the design combinations are along this direction. Uh, let's uh, select only one combination. Uh, all the combinations that will be on the right side will be considered for the design options. Uh, let's uh, assume the only one uh, type of design combination and uh, click OK over here. And uh, again, we need to go to the slab design. Further, we can uh, select the specific uh, uh, sort of storage to design uh, the uh, slab and uh, for this we need to select uh, all the storages that have a slab, uh, our story 2, 3 and 4 have a slab as well and we have uh, drawn the uh, design strips only for these, uh, these stories and uh, click OK over here and now we can draw the design the slab so we need to click the start design options and this structure has been analyzed and uh, designed for the specific type of strips here you can show the uh, intensity of reinforcement and uh, for this we can also check the drawing as well This is for number of bars or type of uh, any type of that is we can show the show rebar intensity area polygonal width and show rebar uh, show total rebar area for the specific type of strips. Let's select the uh, second one and in this way it is shown the total um, uh, reinforcement intensity. We can also detail uh, it as going to the design options and uh, rebar uh, uh, for detailing options and select the uh, rebar selection rules. And uh, here for the we need to select the slabs. Smallest bar size will be number three, and the largest bar size will be number. Let's uh, select it as number six. And uh, these are all the options that we can uh, modify for our uh, own convenience. And the maximum spacing of bars will be 18 inches, and smallest rebar length will be 36 inches. Here we need to um, uh, we can modify it as per our convenience. And these are all the preferred bar sizes for column strips. Our preferred bar size is that is number four, and uh, for uh, for column strip bottom will also be number four, and uh, for middle strip top uh, we will select as uh, number four, and it will be also number four. And these are all the components that we can modify as our as per our convenience. So we can also check the curtailment rules as well. This is the curtailment rule here. We can modify the type of hooks as well. So let's select it as on the degree. Uh, curtailment based on the clear span or the center to center span as well. Let's select it as a clear span. And this is the middle strip. Let's select it as 180 over here. 
it's up to you uh, you can modify it as per your convenience i'm just uh, trying to show you the options and uh, these options are for the draw panels as well uh, we haven't defined any type of draw panels over here so uh, we don't need to uh, select these options as well click ok over here and uh, click ok over here so uh, we need to uh, check the detailing of the slab so uh, so go to the display menu and go to the show slab detailing and uh, here another window will open like this and here are the details of our uh, our rebar details we can collapse it as rebars along the strips along the layer a these are all the strips along uh, layer a that is strip 1 to 1, 2, 5, 7, 12, 13, and 14. These are all the strips that we have drawn uh, as per our convenience. Uh, uh, and uh, this is along the sport. And uh, we can also check the slab views as well. Let's check the slab view as well. Let's check the 3D view of our reinforcement. This is the 3D view of our reinforcement. Uh, and uh, we can also check the plan view as well this is the whole plan view uh, of our slab that is uh, this one is the uh, slab uh, plan for top bars and this is for bottom bars plan for top and bottom bars both and uh, plan view for uh, uh, but these are different options that can be known in uh, that can be in our trading options that's all about our today's task.